Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X dot E dot L dot O. Welcome back to the channel, man. Thank you guys for coming back. But if you are new here, please do me a favor like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I'll let you know when I drop another video. And make sure you leave below in the comment section. I'm new here. All right, so today I'm just going to kind of go over some of the things that I think can be improved inside a cakewalk when it comes to sampling and getting everything set up. Let's get right into it. All right, so here we are in cakewalk. This is my light theme. If you're interested in this theme or my dark theme, I have a link below in the description that you can download this for free. Uh, I'm actually doing a sample flip contest on my Discord, and this is one of the samples that is actually in there. So if you're interested in being a part of Discord, join the sample flip. It does have a cash prize. The link is below in the description. All right. So this is what the sample sounds like. All right, so basically that's the sample that um, I have in the sample flip contest. I'm just gonna just cut it up real quickly and just um, make a loop. All right, so basically what I did was I cut the, the loop. Um, th I just took the first section just to kind of make this video a little quicker. One of the things that Cakewalk does do is give you an option to kind of slice up or split the actual sample. Um, by the bar. I wish there was an option in there that we can actually cut more than just the one measure. Let me show you guys. So I'm gonna right click on this sample and I'm gonna go down to where it says split right here. So this will actually split the sample um, and it'll actually cut it by each measure. So I will have four slices if I actually use this method, push this split repeatedly option here. Um, and I wish there was an option to uh, do it by like one sixteenths, one eighths. Just so if I had a four bar loop and I wanted to have it cut 16 times, I could just do it right here inside this measurement instead of kind of going up here and slicing each one myself. Um, I hope that makes sense, All right? So if I do this, hit okay on here, it's actually gonna slice them up into those four sections as you see right now. So now I have four sections of pretty much do whatever I wanna do with it. Um, I'm going to actually do a control Z to take that away. So now it's just one sample. All right. So I just undid it because um, there's other ways to kind of slice things. Of course, you can use your alt and then kind of use the scissor tool. Um, you can use the, the pointer and kind of just hit S on your keyboard and it'll slice um, the sample that way as well. Um, Cakewalk has this very interesting thing called loop construction. Um, I know a lot of people don't really use it. Um, I have mine set to if I double click on the sample, it'll actually open up the loop. Uh, to set that up this way, you go to your options, go down to click behavior, all right? And then you want to go down to double click and you want to go to audio clips. Mine is set to uh, loop construction views and maybe defaulted to clip properties. If you don't see this loop construction view, um, or if it's not pulling up the loop construction view, make sure you are on the workstation at for set for none. Um, I had to learn that the hard way. I actually had it on basic and I wasn't able to actually pull up the loop construction. So make sure you guys have that set on there. Uh, once it's highlighted and I go to view, I should have the option right here that says loop construction so I can pull it up or you can hit alt seven on your keyboard, but I like to just double click it and open it up on the bottom. All right. So cakewalk, I want you to actually give us a ruler in here. That would be really cool just to have a ruler just so we can kind of measure it to the beats the same way we have it up here um, on this ruler. So if you right click on here, it gives you an option that says time ruler format. 
Um, we want to be able to change this one as well. Like you don't have any right click options down here to do that. Um, it's something that uh, I think would help out a lot in seeing what we want to do with this uh, actual sample because th these numbers don't mean anything. And I'm not sure where it's landing on the, uh, the timeline thing here as well. All right. And, um, you know, you have your loop, you have your like click option, clip options. You can save your loop if you do any kind of changes, if you do like a stretching for it. So right down here, I can kind of stretch it in or out if I want to. Um, but see, the problem is I don't know where it ends because it's not a really a bar. It's like a second, a millisecond or something. Right. And uh, of course, if you turn on the loop, now you have your loop set up in here, and it, you know, the threshold kind of thing is is weird at times. I can change. I usually like to have it like around like uh, 75. I think is usually pretty good, and that way it's not really getting all them really weird transients. And then you can set your different uh, note lengths if you want to. So it'll do halves. I'll do fourth notes. So uh, another thing I would love for this to actually be able to do is so once I set these notes, I can move these samples around. Like if I wanted to drag it up here, I would be able to drag any sample, you know, the slice from here into the playlist or into like the matrix or into a sampler, but it's still just one complete loop. You can't change or move this. Um, another thing is once you have your um, slice set up on here and you wanted to do a pitch envelope, you have to be able, you have to either turn off the pan to see it. Well, this is the blue line here. This is for the uh, pitch. But once the pan is on there, there's no option to get to that, the pitch, unless you move the pan and then you're able to see the pitch. Uh, option here, which is kind of, uh, you know, the feast of purpose, I guess you could say. So uh, I'm not sure how you would maneuver that or just make another line underneath here. Um, I don't know, but some way we need to have the, the pitch separate uh, on there as well. So we can kind of manipulate it without having to go in here and remove the pan and then add the pan back where we want to add the pan. It just doesn't, um, it doesn't flow well. All right. All right. So I'm, I'm going to actually have it to where it'll slice. It'll have, I'll have eight different pieces here and Cakewalk used to have a plugin called Cyclone. Um, it's a DXI plugin. If you guys could bring that back, it would help out a little bit just because, you know, it would have a sampler inside here. We've been asking for a sampler for a very long time. I'm not sure if you have, the rights to the cyclone or you don't have the rights to it and that's why you haven't never released it but it's a dxi plugin like what else is it doing it's not really doing anything else you can add it into the uh, cakewalk by band lab bundle i don't see it having an issue but uh, for all those people who've actually had uh, sonar before they actually got to band lab uh, they had that plugin so let me pull it up real quick all right and this is cyclone so this is what Cakewalk has uh, come up with for their um, their sampler. This was the first, I guess, the first sampler that they had inside here. Um, and I'm going to show you a little bit about it. So let's make this uh, loop into a rex file so that it'll have those cutting points. And then I'm going to cut it up inside the sampler. So I'm going to save the loop. And I, it gives you an option to save it to wherever you want to save it. I'm going to actually save it. All right, so I'm going to save it to loops. And I'm going to call this uh, YouTube test sample, right? All right, and I can just drag this sample that I uh, had and put it in here. I'm going to drag it to this first one. And as you see, it pulls up all of the samples. And here are the chops that the Rex file kind of it recognizes from the Rex files from these chops that I did here. So I wish we could just kind of take these chops and put them into, you know, a separate thing. But uh, currently that's not an option. So I'm going to stretch these out and put them on different pads so they'll work for different keys.
All right, so all of these pads, now they have a, a sound on them. And usually if you right click on the sound or the number one in this little box here, you have a looping and you have a, a synced playback, right? So what that is, this one is the timing and this one is the loop. So I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna turn both of them off because I don't, I don't need them. <laughs> um, and, you know, of course, the only thing about it is that you can't really um, do all of them at like one time, like control kind of thing. All right, so we have that set up on here, and right, and this was like a cool little way to kind of, you know, just chop up your samples, put them in there, and kind of play them however you want to. It had this nice little uh, tails thing on here where you could kind of give it a tail reverb, for like. Right, and then we can make something really quick in here just to just to make something real quick. And bam, we had a sample inside the sampler looped over and like this was really simple, really easy to use, but this is no longer available inside of Cakewalk. Hopefully you guys can bring it back for some of the people that don't have it um, inside of BandLab. Like I said, it's a DXI plugin. I'm pretty sure you guys own it, so I'm not sure why you haven't uh, just released it out to people. It's, it's just a sampler. It's something simple. People have been asking for a sampler for so long, you could just throw this in there just to kind of appease some people and then still work on what you guys need to work on to get the rest of it going. Okay, Cakewalk. Y'all know what we want. We want a sampler. Until that time comes, you can definitely give us this Cyclone. The Cyclone is a very simple sampler. Uh, if you're gonna give us a loop construction, you might as well give us the Cyclone so we can actually use it and edit stuff inside of a sampler. Um, it doesn't have an option for reverse on there, which is yeah, neither here nor there, but um, it's something that we can definitely use uh, as a cakewalk community. All right, with that being said, there are other things that can be uh, updated, especially the option to when you're actually doing a split, we can split it into smaller pieces, like say, uh, you know, 32, 16, eighths, fourths, and the halves. That would be awesome. If we can actually have it to where the measure or the, um, the ruler actually showed us bars, and we can actually change that to whatever you know specs we wanted to, that would make it a whole lot easier for us to actually work inside that loop construction. Loop construction should also be able to uh, grab a piece of a sample that's already cut or sliced in there and make it into a new wave. That would be really, really cool. Um, or like I said, you can just give us the sampler where the sampler will be able to slice it inside of the cyclone. But that's neither here nor there. I really do like um, think these changes would actually help out a lot inside of Cakewalk. Um, we need to also make sure inside the loop construction that the pitch is not on top of the pan. So we should be able to kind of intertwine with those instead of actually turning it completely off in order just to get to a pan or get to the, the pitch inside of the loop construction. So the loop construction is really the, the, the main piece that we can kind of uh, get fixed somehow, some way. I mean, that will help out tremendously when we're doing samples because loop construction just pulls up at the bottom of the screen, kind of like it does in other DAWs. And a lot of people are actually familiar with that. So with that being said, this is pretty much the end of the video. Make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to these videos. Make sure you leave a comment below. If you have any other like sample things that you want to see happen in Cakewalk. So make sure you put down in there, sampler in Cakewalk. Let's put that inside the comments. If you watch this video, uh, let Cakewalk know that we're actually still wanting and waiting for that sampler. But uh, yeah, definitely join the Discord so you can actually get these samples. You can get the drum kit, you can get everything set up. You can e maybe even win a cash prize at the end of it. But with that being said, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Thank you for coming back. And once again, it's your boy, X Dot.
E dot L dot O. Till next time, people. Peace.